wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. Jericho, by the way, is uh, teasing a return to WWE television this Friday. He tweeted Thursday. It says, I'm happy to say I'll be making my triumphant return to WWE tomorrow night. Chris Jericho recently filmed a promo uh, hyping Undertaker and, uh, you know, Triple H's uh, match uh, that's supposedly be airing, uh, going to be airing on Friday. So that's kind of probably likely what he's going to be there. Whether he's going to be there live, I doubt it. Jericho's gig on uh, Dancing with the Stars begins on Monday night as well. So possibly WWE uh, air teasers with the, for the Dancing with the Stars. All right, back to, I don't want to hear no more about Charlie Sheen, tired of that. I hate hearing any more about Jeff Hardy and this last Sunday's thing, but says here, Jeff Hardy was described as being a mess hours that led up to the main event where uh, Sting uh, took on uh, Jeff at Sunday's Victory Road pay-per-view. All right, the former TNA heavyweight champion was said to have been held as he made his way from outside the impact zone to the staging area behind the uh, entrance curtain. His uh, behavior at the gorilla position, combined with his manner in which he stumbled during his ring entrance, caused management to, uh, to call an audible just before the match. Eric Ibischoff uh, delivered instructions to both grapplers while uh, cutting his promo in the... Uh, the whole match was, I think, about 90 seconds long. Hardy was not on hand for this week's uh, impact taping because management had struck him uh, he told him to go home. While his uh, pack of defenders cited travel fatigue for his woes and offbeat unusual behavior at Final Resolution pay-per-view in December, they have an issue of anything in his defense of last Sunday's match. And I mentioned this yesterday, Jeff Hardy is a uh, uh, court hearing yesterday in Monroe County, uh, North Carolina resulted in another continuance uh, because the district attorney's office waiting on evidence from the State Bureau of Investigation. Hardy has told friends that his legal team has developed a new strat strategy and that uh, hopes to have the situation put to rest soon. I hope. WWE's Raw Live event uh, business has been good lately and the crowds and fans have been good in the secondary markets. Uh, March 11th show in Springfield, Missouri drew about 7,000 fans uh, and March 12th in Kansas City, Kansas drew about uh, 7,200 fans for about an average gain of a little over $200,000. March 13th, Oklahoma drew about 6,500. Uh, Smackdown in uh, Cedar Rapids drew about uh, 4,400. Uh, 13th in Moline, Illinois drew about 5,300 for around $150,000 gain. Mere pittance. For uh, WWE, uh, former uh, NXT Oksana recently won Queen of, Queen of FCW uh, the title away from Rosa Mendez in the Belt Mill area. Jim Ross noted on his website there's no book deal in place as of yet for uh, the book that he's going to be writing will not be an autobiography, but he's writing a book. Ross says he's considering other, other things, potential subjects to write on also. Uh, nothing substantial yet. Chris Jericho's undisputed book fell to number 28 on the New York Times bestseller list this past week. All right, Hall of Famer Alpha, the Samoan, uh, he returns to his latest column, The Way I See It, on the popcorncrowd.com. And it talks about a, becoming an organ donor and a story about a very good friend of his. I don't know why the guy would want a world tour organ or whatever he's talking about. Oh, let me see. He said, uh, I make personally the choice become, uh, become an organ donor and knowing that I, uh, in my passing, can help give back and save a miracle and a blessing, your children, your uh, generous decision, give back to, you know, loved ones, uh, the Hall of Famer, and I'm about ready to cry. All right, Ray Mysterio, he's featured on the cover, cover of the latest issue of Super Luchas, uh, and uh, the headline featured a quote from him saying, look forward to wrestling Sin Cara. Sin Cara, if you want to call him that. On Twitter, by the way, Jericho's, uh, I told you, be, uh, he wrote on about coming back to the WWE, but doesn't say live. According to reports from Tough and Upset, Luke Robinson is considered the early favorite of the show. He stands out as a star and is considered a good wrestler and possesses charisma, which not too many wrestlers lately 
feature that. The show was hosted by Steve Austin, was also impressed by Robinson, and said uh, he is working privately, uh, working out with him. Robinson is a 26-year-old independent wrestler from Maine who performed under the name of Golden Boy Bobby Robinson. In his uh, USA uh, Network.com bio, it reads, uh, for him, WWE combines his passion and then, you know, all this stuff. Uh, before moving to the, well, he doesn't really say, I thought I might give some background on him. Guess not. WWE developmental uh, talent, Sue Young, or Sonya, tried out for Tough Enough but failed to make the cast. Uh, the Seattle bus based wrestler signed a contract with WWE last year, is currently listed in the, uh, on the official Florida Championship website as a diva. Speaking of divas, Jerry Lawler, 61, revealed a, uh, in a recent interview with uh, Fighting Spirit that he is dating Young, by the way, who is 21 years old. And he's probably more than 21 years older than her. Uh, he is a lot more than that. Dwayne Rock Johnson, by the way, is featured on the cover of the April uh, WWE magazine. NFL player Sean Merriman, who went back and forth with uh, CM Punk on a Twitter a few weeks ago, wrote the following yesterday about the NFL lockout. It says, Dear WWE, now that the lockout is official, I would love to whoop down and, and uh, get some ass. Whoop some ass. Goldust revealed on his Twitter that he's going to be uh, a part of a second half of WWE WrestleMania Revenge Tour of the UK in April, beginning with the London show. Uh, for you London people, watch out. Dust will be over that way. Uh, anyway, Goldust originally expected to be returning to action from shoulder surgery back in June. Goldust is going to be appearing uh, for fans at WrestleMania Access uh, in Atlanta. Jim Ross wrote the following on his Twitter this morning about his injury, supposedly. Ankle and knee has stretched ligaments and ankle, knee, ankle and knee. Uh, still uh, sore and swollen, but we'll be okay. X-rays after swelling goes down. Thanks, Swagger and Cole. Kind of got a feeling it might be a little bit of work there. I think he's all right. Don't get worried. WrestleMania 27 uh, Go Home Raw in Chicago, March 28th, will also serve as a go home for SmackDown show, as uh, there will be no tapings March 29th. SmackDown that Friday will be uh, made up of clips from Access. Uh, WWE crews will fly to Atlanta after Raw that week, where there will be a uh, ring set up at their hotel for practice. Hotels most likely will be rented out to WWE personnel only and uh, will be under lockdown to anyone not in WWE. There was more than a usual amount of practice before Raw on Monday with Snooki, Vicky, Layla, Michelle McCool, Trish rehearsing for their segments uh, since Snooki and Vicky aren't really trained too much as wrestlers. Vicky has lost quite a bit of weight. I think she said she lost about 50 pounds. John Cena recorded a message asking fans to help with the relief efforts in Japan. You can watch the video on uh, YouTube. Bret Hart's changed his Twitter account, by the way, to at Bret Hart. Anyway, uh, episodes of uh, WWE NXT uh, had around seven minutes and seven seconds of in-ring action, up six minutes from last week. Whew. NXT notably, uh, or episodes have lately been airing around for 50 minutes, I guess. Snooki, by the way, is probably getting a hefty paycheck from WWE for a match at WrestleMania 27th. She's getting 30000 per gig these days for doing nightclub appearances. I remember a while back, Paris Hilton was getting $200,000 to show up at somebody's party. Hmm. I like to see her walk in the door. Anyway, while Rock hasn't scheduled any live performances or promos for, uh, you know, live anyway for, w uh, for Raw, uh, until after WrestleMania. He's now scheduled at the Go Home Show in uh, Chicago, Illinois, though, March 28th. As noted before, he's going to be appearing at uh, on the Raw after WrestleMania, April 4th in Atlanta. Uh, Chris Jericho noted on his Twitter account that uh, uh, Hakushi is living in his car after losing his home restaurant in the earthquake and uh, tsunami that hit Japan. Whew, that's rough over there. Kelly Kelly. Uh, could be added to the corner of Snooki, Trish Stratus, and John Morrison, WrestleMania 27, offset Vicky, who will be uh, in Layla and Dolph's and uh, the Cools corner. We'll see how that works out. Hey, thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.